This video will help you learn about having a surgery or procedure at the hospital. It's also for the adults who help care for you. They may or may not be members of your family, but to keep things simple, we'll just refer to them as parents. There are many people at the hospital that will help you while you're here. They all work together as a team to make sure that you are comfortable and cared for. Nurses will help care for you before, during, and after surgery. The doctor that will help you fall asleep before the surgery is called an anesthesiologist. The doctor that does the surgery is called a surgeon. When you come to the hospital, your parents will fill out some papers. You and your parents will get matching bracelets with your name on it. They will be checked many times during your stay. When it is your turn to go to prepare for surgery, a member of your care team will call your name and bring you to the hospital room. There, they will check your height and weight, check your temperature with a thermometer, check your breathing with a sticker that goes on your finger, and check your blood pressure with a cuff on your arm that gives a tight squeeze. Once this is done, you will change into some hospital pajamas. A nurse will ask you and your parents many questions to make sure you are ready for surgery. The staff will explain what will happen while you're at the hospital. You can ask them questions too. You can ask to see if there are any games or toys to play with while you're waiting to have your surgery. You can also bring a special item from home to the hospital, like a favorite toy or blanket. Ask your nurse if you can bring it into the surgery room with you. If needed, your nurse may give you medicine before surgery. This is the time to say see you later to your parents. You will get to ride on a hospital bed to the surgery room. In the surgery room, your doctor will help you fall asleep. This can be done while breathing sleep medicine through a mask. At some hospitals, you can choose a scent for your mask. Sometimes kids need to have a small tube called an IV placed in their hand or arm before going to surgery. While you are falling asleep, a nurse puts some stickers on your body. These stickers will tell them how your body is working while you are asleep. When your surgery is finished and the doctor stops giving you the sleep medicine, you will wake up. When you wake up, you'll be in a new room. This is called the recovery room. Nurses will be by your bed watching over you. While you're in recovery, you will need to tell the nurses how your body is feeling. You may still have stickers on your body and an IV in your arm or hand. The IV is there to give your body water and medicine. These will stay on until it's time for you to go home. Your nurses may give you something to drink. Your nurse will move your bed to another room where your parents will be waiting. Depending on the kind of surgery you have, you may go home the same day. Or you might need to stay at the hospital for a little longer. See you at the hospital!